Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are going to look at all the animals you are getting with the Grasslands Animal Pack. And for this occasion, we are going to use our African mini zoo, their habitats, to showcase all the animals, apart from the uh, butterflies, because I did not really uh, create anything yet for it. But Frontier did add this building right over here. So without further talking, let's just go and jump into all the animals you are getting with the Grasslands Animal Pack and if you're interested in free update 1.12 and everything that is in this free update then please go and check out the other video that I uploaded on the channel today as well. So the first animal we're going to look at is the Blue Wildebeest. Now this animal is the male and this one is the female Blue Wildebeest and you can tell that the male is slightly bigger than the female. Also the texture is and all like the animal looks really beautiful I, I guess you can tell that it's really hard to make like these really long hairs but I think Frontier did a really good job in creating those and uh, I think it looks really good and these animals yeah they look just really beautiful I am pleasantly surprised about these animals to be completely honest and then right over here we have a female more up close like as I said it's just a little bit smaller than the male but other than that the animals just look really good and obviously I cannot wait to see their little ones. One should be pregnant right now so it's just a matter of time before we are able to see a baby blue wildebeest in here. And here we have a little calf of the blue wildebeest and uh, this one actually looks really cute. I had no idea that they would look like this but they are really adorable and I really do like the fur and stuff. They look a little bit brighter than their parents. Yeah, they look really nice. It really has like this happy face. Oh, I do really like that. All right, so let's go over to Zoopedia real quick. So the blue wildebeest is of least concern. Their natural habitat is mostly in these African regions right over here. One blue wildebeest needs 410 square meters. They do not have any other requirements. They can live in between a temperature of 8 to 40 degrees Celsius. Species data, you need 4 to 20, so one male and up to 19 females in one habitat. Guests cannot enter their habitat. They come mature at four years old. They have a number of offspring of one and they are very easy to reproduce in captivity. As far as I can tell, there are no new enrichment items in this pack. So all these enrichment items are already known, but these are the ones that you can unlock and these are all the fun facts of the blue wildebeest. They have an interspecies bonus with a lot of different animals, which I'm not really surprised of. So yeah, yeah, you can definitely combine these guys with a lot of other African animals in the game. And then right over here, we have a small cat species, the Caracal. And I think this is the male that I have selected. Oh, this is the female and this is the male walking right behind it. I cannot tell you if there is any difference in between the size. I can't really tell that there is really a difference in like the fur or anything like that. The tufts look really good on these cats. Absolutely love that. I think they look really good. I was not entirely sure how they would look when I saw the first screenshot with Rio, but I think they look really beautiful and they have such a beautiful face with like these white lines around their eyes. They look absolutely amazing. I think they do have their own audio as well. But now it's starting to doubt myself. <laughs> oh gosh, we have some playing animations. So oh, that's really nice. <laughs> I like the hissing sounds they make. Yeah, they're really beautiful animals. I really cannot wait to see the kittens run around. There is, the female is pregnant right now. So it's just a matter of time. So let's wait and see about that. And the kittens actually do look as cute as I was hoping they would look. I love the ears here with the tufts on it. Oh my goodness, they are so adorable. Look at that little face. They do have a few spots right over here on their belly. I can't recall that the adults have that as well. Oh my, you are really cute. They also feel like they are a little bit more 
fluffy than their parents. Look at the ears. How they move. Oh my, I'm actually really excited about the caracal now that I see them. They look so adorable and so beautiful. Oh wow. Do <laughs> look at it run. Do let me know in the comments down below how you guys uh, feel about the caracals coming to you with the Grasslands Animal Pack. But of course, before we move over to the next animal, we will go over the Zoopedia real quick. The caracal is of least concern. Their natural habitat is mostly right over here in Africa and a part of Asia. One adult needs 534 square meters and 81 square meters for climbing. They can live in temperatures of 0 to 43 three degrees Celsius. Species data, you can have up to one, two, two, so one male and one female in one habitat. They are pretty shy. Guests cannot enter their habitats. They become mature at around 1.5 years old. The number of offspring is one, two, four. Their reproduction in captivity is of average difficulty. Research status, these are all the things that you can unlock when playing challenge mode or franchise mode. Some fun facts about the caracal, and obviously they do not have an interspecies bonus with any other animal. So then right over here we have Emu <laughs> running around in this habitat. Oh gosh, I love how they run. <laughs> oh they're really funny. Uh this is the male emu and uh, this one. I think they look really cool. I love it that Frontier added another type of bird into this pack. I feel like we should have a lot more in the in the game. And also regarding flying animals, we already have a little chick right over here running around. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, I'm just going to look at you right away because you look so adorable. Look at that little face right over here. I love the stripes and the patterns here. Also on their head, that looks really beautiful. And then right over here, we have a female emu. I can't, <laughs> can't get over how they run, but I can't really tell if there is a lot of differences between a male and a, a female, but they do look really beautiful. So let's quickly go over the emu zoopedia. The emu is from least concern. Their natural habitat is mostly in Australia. They need 450 square meters of land for one adult. They can handle a temperature of 3 to 43 degrees Celsius. Species data, you can have 1 to 6, so 5 males or up to 5 females in one habitat. You cannot enter their habitat. They become mature at 1.5 years old. Number of offspring is one to five and they are very easy to reproduce in captivity research status these are all the things that you can unlock when playing challenge or franchise mode and these are some fun facts about the emu and they do not have an interspecies bonus and then right over here we have the maned wolf with super long legs also these guys look absolutely fantastic look how beautiful <laughs> oh wow I am also very impressed by these guys. They have different color patterns. So I think this one is a light orange shaggy coat. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. And this one is a red shaggy coat. This is the female. They look really pretty. Also pleasantly surprised about these guys. I think they have fleas or something because they keep <laughs> keep scratching. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that is all about. And then right over here, we have a beautiful maned wolf cub. I absolutely love the fur. I also like it that they have like these this white color and like right over here in our neck and in their ears. Oh, they look really adorable. Also, like the black snout that they have or black nose. Absolutely love these guys. We only have one cup in here, so I'm not sure if there are like too many different color variations or anything like that. But look at that. This one looks really adorable. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this cute maned wolf cup that we have running around and what you think of the adults that keep scratching themselves <laughs> right over here. <laughs>
So let's quickly go over the Zoopedia of the maned wolf. They are near threatened. Their natural habitat is mostly here in South America. They have quite a big habitat requirements, as you can tell. If I raise this, you really need a lot of space for these guys in challenge or franchise mode. So 930 square meters of land for one adult only. They do not have any other requirements. They need a 10 to 42 degree Celsius temperature in their habitat. Species that are one to two adults in one habitat. You can obviously not enter their habitat. They become mature at two years old. They have a number of offspring of one to five and they are very easy to reproduce in captivity. Right over here you can see all the things you can unlock regarding enrichment items and some fun facts about the maned wolf right over here. And you can actually combine these guys with other animals for an interspecies enrichment with the capybara and the giant anteater. So probably the best animal of this pack is of course the nine banded armadillo i think frontier did a fantastic job in creating these guys look at the fur coming out of their belly and right over here like oh man the textures and stuff they look absolutely incredible i am so amazed by these animals and then right over here, we have the male armadillo. I can't really tell if this one is slightly bigger than the female. There is a little baby right away. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. That was so adorable. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, like I think Hunter <laughs> did an incredible job with these armadillos. This is the baby armadillo and it looks so adorable. It's so tiny. You can still tell. There are some some hairs right over here coming out of their 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 chin and like their belly and stuff, but definitely a lot tinier and smaller. Really beautiful animals. So I, I really do like it that they are added in this grasslands pack as well. That one's so adorable. So let's quickly go over the Zoopedia. The nine banded armadillo is of least concern. Their natural habitat is mostly here in North, Central, and South America. One armadillo needs 182 square meters. They do not have any other requirements and they need a temperature of minus five until 43 degrees. Celsius. Species data, you can have one to two, so one male and one female. You can enter their habitat, although they are very shy animals. They become mature at two years old. Their number of offspring is four, and they are very easy to reproduce in captivity. With the research status, you can unlock all these things for challenge mode and franchise mode. And we obviously have some fun facts right over here. And they do not have an interspecies bonus with any other animal of the game. And then right over here, we have the rat necked wallaby. My oh my, look at the fur right over here. They start with like this brownish color. Oh, it's, it's a pity that they're now walking in the shadow, but like this brownish color. And then it goes over to like this more. Why are you stepping? <laughs> Thank you. Then it goes over to this grayish color right over here. So uh, that looks really good. I really am impressed by the textures here of the fur. And also they just look so adorable. Really do like these guys. So this is a male wallaby. And then we should be having a little female right over here. And they, I can't really tell if they are really different in size. Could be that the male is a little bit bigger, but it's it's really hard to tell. It's not super obvious, but yeah, they look really, really adorable. Right over here, we have another female just chilling. We already know this animation, of course, from the other kangaroos that we have in the game. And then right here in the back, there is this little one and they are so adorable as well. Look at that little face again. Oh man, they're so cute. They still also have like this, this brown and gray color pattern, just more subtle. They look really adorable. So now let's quickly go over the Zoopedia of the Rat Neck Wallaby. It is of least concern. Their natural habitat is in Australia and Tasmania. And for one adult, you need 250 square meters of land and they do not have any other requirements. The temperature of their habitat is minus 4 to 43 degrees Celsius. Species data you can have 
have up to 1 to 30 to 29 males and up to 29 females in one habitat. They are pretty confident and you can enter their habitat. They become mature at 1.5 years old. The number of offspring is one and they are easy to reproduce in captivity. Now, these are all the things you can unlock as enrichment items and also some fun facts. And they do not have an interspecies bonus with any other animal. So right over here, we have the male and a female striped hyena. You can right away tell that the female is a little bit smaller than the male right over here. And I do have to add right away to this, like there was a little bit of critique about these animals when we saw the screenshot reviews, like something in their face just doesn't look super accurate. Even though I feel like they look really beautiful, I, I can tell definitely where people are coming from. And I'm not entirely sure if there also needs some work to be done with like their neck or their back right over here. Like you can also tell how hard it is for games like this to create like these long hairs. I do feel like it doesn't feel super natural sometimes with, with certain movements. But uh, other than that, like the textures and, and the body itself, like the stripes and stuff look really beautiful. But yeah, it looks like Frontier is going to work a little bit more on the striped hyena. So what you're seeing right now is probably not the hyena that you will get once you will get this pack. So do keep that in mind. But yeah, I, I do think it's really nice that we get another hyena in the game. Look at this little one. Isn't this the cutest? <laughs> I do really like it. I feel like the fur looks a little bit better on these guys. They're definitely a little bit more fluffy and it feels a little bit more natural, especially when they also move around. Oh man, they are really adorable. <laughs> but yeah, also for these guys, maybe they will get a little bit of a refurbishment in, in their face and, and maybe with their body as well when the pack, when you guys will get the pack. So yeah, just to keep that in mind, but I, I do think they look really cute and I love the fur textures here. They look so adorable. Do let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about these striped hyenas. So now let's quickly go over it. There's Zoopedia. This striped hyena is near threatened. Their natural habitat is mostly in Africa and a part of Asia. They also have quite a big land requirement for only one adult, two adults, three adults it's it's all right when you add more adults to one habitat i guess but yeah they do need quite some space requirements for a challenge or franchise mode or maybe you're playing sandbox mode with like these requirements turned on obviously they do not need any other requirements they have a temperature requirement of minus four to 43 degrees you can have up to one to two adults in one habitat you cannot enter their habitat they become mature at two years old they have a number of offspring of two to four and they are pretty easy to reproduce in captivity. Research status, these are all the things that you can unlock during franchise or challenge mode. And of course, some fun facts about the striped hyena and they do not have an interspecies bonus with any of the other animals. So quickly, before we go to the butterflies, these are all the signs that you will get with this grasslands animal pack as well. I do really like it that these are pretty much in the same style as the other packs that we have seen this year. So I do really like that even though they look a little bit different to me but I'm not entirely sure but they, they look really nice I do like the style of these and then you have this really cute armadillo statue as well which looks so tiny really adorable and then right over here I'm not entirely sure if I do really like the choice that you have these animatronic butterflies instead of like or at least also having some flat signs i would have loved to see some of uh, just simple flat signs of butterflies but i think we maybe already have no they're not flat we got something like butterflies with the south america pack if i'm correct which are more like lights or something i like this don't get me wrong i do really like it that these are more like animatronic signs but i don't really see myself using them like you can't just put them down in a butterfly dome i guess they look really cool but i just don't really think that i will be using them very often this one is very nice by the way according to even it's probably the thinnest pole that we have seen so far in the game so yeah this one definitely 
should be mentioned. It's the Grasslands Animal Sign Pole, which is the thinnest pole in the game right now. It is not one meter. I think it's two meter in length. So that is the only downside. I wish we would have had a one meter one as well, because I think that it will be super useful. But yes, <laughs> all these signs and this statue coming to you with the Grasslands Animal Pack. So then we move over to the butterflies, the animals that I am mostly excited of for this pack since I have been asking for butterflies for so, so long. <laughs> so you are getting five species of butterflies, the cloudless silver, the European peacock, the blue morpho, the monarch and the old world swallowtail. So let's first go to the cloudless silver. So in this habitat, I have two different butterflies. And as you can tell, like I think for every butterfly species, you can have up to 90 animals in one habitat or one exhibit, I should say. I'm not entirely sure if that also means like from the different species, like they've reproduced. I only started with two butterflies, guys, and I already have 44. So they really breed super fast. So <laughs> I can tell where the management uh, option definitely came from with the previous pack of the uh, Twilight pack with the bats because you definitely need it for these butterflies as well. So right over here, we have one of the cloudless silvers and they look really, really beautiful. Man, I cannot wait to build domes and stuff for them. Just look at all these guys sitting everywhere. Now this exhibit does come with like different options to add just like any other exhibit so you can turn basically everything off right over here and then all you still have and that is the only downside or, or negative thing in my opinion there are like two bushes added right over here and if you ask me they should have been added here into the enrichment part because that leaves you with always these two bushes, one on this side and one on that side. And I'm just not entirely happy with that because I would love to get some more freedom where I want to add these uh, these plants and stuff. I, I do understand, like, obviously it's really nice to have like an, an animation here with all these butterflies in this plant now. Like, there are so many in here, so I, I get why they probably added this. Uh, like you can tell how many are here. I have no idea how many of the blue ones are <laughs> in this exhibit, but there are definitely so, so many. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, that's the other side of the blue one. Wait, but that one does... Oh, they do have this beautiful wings. Oh, I love that. Anyway, so yeah, do keep that in mind. You get the exhibit and then it's completely empty. And then as soon as you add the butterflies, they will have these bushes in here like always so you cannot choose to have them or not which i really do hope frontier will change in the future but i can see where they're coming from so yeah obviously you have all these kinds of uh, uh fruit plays and nectar feeders and and potted trees and stuff where they could all land on depending on what you want to add obviously so yeah that is the option you you can deselect these or or select them so yeah right over here you can see one of the butterflies flying around i think it looks fantastic really really am happy to see some butterflies in here i think the walkthrough exhibits are just perfect for these butterflies and like i already asked for only just some vfx's which are just some 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 simple things that vanish, but this is just so much better. I am just so happy with these butterflies. Really cannot wait to build like my own butterfly dome for these guys because, oh man, this is going to be so much fun. And then right over here, we have the beautiful European peacock butterfly. And as you can tell, they can, they can basically just land on everything, which is just really cool. And on these beautiful flowers right over here, we have the monarch, which looks like, oh man, I just, I just really love how these guys look. They look so beautiful. I really, if I am in a zoo, I really just love to walk around in these butterfly domes because they just look so stunning. And like, let's be honest, like in real life, I just don't really see that many butterflies anymore in the wild, that is. So uh, 
yeah, it's amazing to go to a zoo and see these beautiful animals in these butterfly domes flying around or sitting on these beautiful flowers. Ah, man, I really, really love these guys. And then right over here, we have the old world swallow tail. I always have a hard time <laughs> saying this name. But yeah, it's, as I said, it's just super cool to have some butterflies in the game. And it's cool to see them there flying around. I wonder like if you have more of them in the game or in like one exhibit, if you have like swarms just flying around at some point. I doubt it. I think it's limited to only a few butterflies flying around at some point. But yeah, definitely super excited about the fact that we now have these amazing butterflies. So let me just show you guys one that is maybe sitting still a little bit. There you go. You can see the beauty of these animals they look absolutely fantastic so yeah as i said like i'm just super excited to start a building a butterfly dome for these guys this is going to be so much fun and just something that we really wanted to have in the game at least if i speak for myself but of course i would love to know from you guys how you guys feel about this pack in general like how do you feel about all these animals and how do you feel about the butterflies that are coming to you with the grassland animal pack other than the butterflies for me personally it's not the most exciting pack but obviously that's like really personal because it just really depends what kind of animals you really like and just a personal preference i guess but butterflies are definitely the best thing for me in this pack so i really am super excited about that but yeah of course let me know your opinion about the pack and all the animals in the comments down below leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!